The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. Now, what we mean by to possess it is this. The offer we are saying no, say NHA. That they will go out and disseminate the knowledge of the fact that God is one. And that any people that put their trust in God will be blessed. Now they were also going out to be teachers of God's wisdom to the nations. As they obey the body of laws that God has committed to them. Now when we say possessing the nations in our day, we don't mean anything different. We want to go out there with our salt and light and influence kingdoms with the principles and values that we learn from scripture. Now we don't intend to go and overthrow any government. We are not plotting coup. But spiritually, we are waging battle. And we know we win. Because the kingdom of this world must become the kingdom of our God. Now we are working with the end in view. We, we should be able to determine the culture that rules our lands. And if God will rule, his hope is the church. Christ in you. Now when a light shines in the darkness, the darkness will not be able to withstand it. Hallelujah. Amen. We said last week that part of the incentive to keeping the commands of God is missiological. Now, the blessing received from obeying God will draw the other nations to Israel and eventually to their God. Israel trusted this. And prayed about that. That through them, the knowledge of God will reach the other nations so that they will come to his salvation. We said that Israel was to become a channel of God's blessing, not a terminal of God's blessings. His blessings was to touch the other nations as well and draw them unto God. Why? Because the promise to their father Abraham, and by extension to all of us, was that in you shall all the peoples of the earth be blessed. Now, each Israelite was therefore a player in this God's grand agenda. That stretched beyond the boundaries of their life. Or even the, the whole land of Israel. 
So Israel was called out of Egypt. Israel They were called together. And they were called for a purpose. They were called out of Egypt. They were called together. And they were called for a purpose. The purpose of possessing nations. Transforming nations. With the principles that they learn from God. But this evening, I wish to bring to your attention and for your learning that wherever they went, they carried with them the ideals of their religion. I want to bring these brothers and sisters to your attention and for your learning. That wherever they went, they carried with them the ideals of their religion. They carried with them. See, they never took their eyes off Jerusalem. They never took their minds off Jerusalem and the temple. No, no matter how far they traveled. They never took their eyes off Jerusalem. Their mind was still on the temple. I seem to say that we are part of the worship in Jerusalem. For them, they think that if you are born in Zion, there is no human being like you. Psalm 87 says that so people who say that me too i was born there now the average israelite believed in himself because of the greatness of their god you see david just couldn't take it when goliath was was blaspheming the god of israel who is this uncircumcised philistine because for those of us who are circumcised we are set apart with the greatest of god why should we allow this uncircumcised guy to disturb us if you kill him what would the king do for you and the day we didn't want to mean you know brana goliath or to to be emma israel for the sun said oh who do you know say ah mom no to me bang and what do you tell me and what is that say we who come now at the end one he need to be mouth See, I was thinking of David the other time. Why he got so agitated? Because even Saul was hearing the insults and he was cool. Now, one, because they were afraid. They, in this battle, you needed to just choose one person to do battle against Goliath. But I think that one thing that we really got him agitated was that in his case, the, the person Goliath was insulting was in him. He, he has been anointed and the thing was in him. So when Goliath said foolish, he feels the foolish more than the other people. <laughs> Now that anointing they anointed him changed him. What will happen to the man who killed this fellow? I pray that all of us in the midst of the crowd who know who we are and the God we have. One of the sweetest Psalms is Psalm 137. Especially verse 1. By the rivers of Babylon we sat and wept when we remembered Zion. 
Ose na Babel e subwanti yon e ho Ana ya tinai na yesu ibra ye kai ziono Na wa far away in Eza We wept when we remembered Zion Brani ya wong kwa sumu kura hampono ye kai ziono Yesu yi Verse 5 please if I forget you, Jerusalem, may my right hand forget its kills. Jerusalem, they will free wa, ma mi ni fan yure en free ne hokeka. They don't, they won't, they won't forget. Not just say nyadi ani yure befi. No, they won't forget Jerusalem. Yure into me free Jerusalem. And they will not forget what they have been taught. Na yure en free ni awa chire chire no no. They will not forget who they are. You see, the circumcision was not a tattoo. No, it was not the ring. It was parts of yourself. It cut the skin. Yeah, so the the circumcision was a measure. So you can never separate yourself from the circumcision. It doesn't matter the distance. They are Israelites. Daniel 6 verse 10. Daniel 6 verse 10. Now when Daniel learned that the decree had been published, he went home to his upstairs room where the window opened towards Jerusalem. Now Daniel te se wa kurukire atwere no oko ni fie enso na bro san dan eni ni piema e kire Jerusalem ebue bue no ho. Now three times a day he got down on his knees and prayed giving thanks to his God. Just as he had done before. Na okuto ne na ukuma eni da kuro emprensa na obompai da edase ni nyang kupong eni msedi na oyano kani no ara. Windows open towers Jerusalem. Ni mpuma no nuwe bwe bwe ya edi ne niyechire Jerusalem. Wherever they went, wherever they decided to pray, they find the bearings that. Points to Jerusalem. They were conscious of who they were. They were a unique race. A people belonging to God. That they had the greatest of all the gods. That they should stay away from the deeds of the other nations. They were conscious of the ideals of their religion. That's the interacted with the cultures of the nations. They sought to possess it. Now, they refused to compromise on their beliefs, even at the peril of their lives, and rather try to infect the nations with their beliefs and culture. And no man who did you know what you want to come to us and the moon poor and to me shim everyone some of that bribe him or she said what be my full from poor abe jedi they refuse to compromise on their beliefs one power did you know on to turn us it even when it means death say about a war ground bar will be let me draw an example from the book of extra mommy and she so be in fee as the human you see the book of esther Talks about Israelites living in Susa. Now, large amount of Jews from the remnant of Judah lived in the city of Susa. Now, Susa was once a part of the historic kingdom of Elam between Babylon and the ancient Persia. Susa, Bribino, na eka Elam mantam no ehu. During the time they lived there, there was this Jewish man named Mordecai. Who took care of an orphaned niece, Esther. Na Mordecai na orshaf nebia wa freno Esther. Na a girl of exceptional beauty. Na ono Esther na ni huo feyi papa. Who by the providence of God became the queen and the wife of the Persian king. Ahasuerus or 
Zesis. Now, Osha, when you coupon, now my crown will be brief to my Esther, be here on him, ma, or be here on him, a serious nearly. Now, no sooner had Esther become the queen than the king honored a certain man called Haman. Now, Esther, be on him, ape, and check and all, he ne, a dean, you name be a drop, a baby, a friend, Haman. So, let's go to Esther chapter three, and then we'll read from verse one. Wherever they went, they carried the ideals with them. After these events, King Zerzes honored Haman, son of Ham Hamidatha, the Agagite, elevating him and giving him a seat of honor higher than of all the other nobles. Now in same year children or Hine Akoseros, ye agag himana or ye himanata bano kesie na omano so no omano e ga a susine ma poma or ni won wo hun yina no dear. All the royal officials at the king's gate knelt down and paid Anna to Haman, for the king had commanded this concerning him. But Mordecai would not kneel down or pay him honor. No, I can't inquire what it can upon Cassian Munina could too sorry him and if we say, Sir, and I'll hear a share a man. No, 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 no. Then the royal officials at the king's gate asked Modica, Why do you disobey the king's command? Anna on Hine and Qua were what on Hine Ponkas, the moon beside Mordecai say, I didn't see Anna would ye would talk on Hine Emra and no. Day after day they spoke to him, but he refused to comply. Therefore, they told Haman about it to see whether Mordecai's behavior will be tolerated. For he had told them he was a Jew. Full now, stop. Na wakantre wakantre no sada na untie won wakantre wakantre human say warishe se modekai ensemno ebejina ana na wakantre won say oye you deni for he had told them he was a Jew na wakantre won full stop oye you deni baby so I will not bow down thou shall not bow down to any image including. Hey it is so here you the need here on kutubri bibiara hey man so eka hon so when the report got to him man ah verse 5 when hey man saw that Mordecai would not kneel down or pay him honor he was enraged now hey man who said Mordecai in kutu and sorry no no the buffo say hey man ma Yet having learned who Mordecai's people were, he scorned the idea of killing only Mordecai. Instead, Haman looked for a way to destroy all Mordecai's people, the Jews, throughout the whole kingdom of Zesis. <laughs> He's a liar. And so one person or then in Sabbath come with the kind of quarrel if he say, Now, what children of the Mordecai is free? And Haman should say, or say you that for our war, I can serve us and he didn't mean more. When Mordecai mouthfully, in fact, verse 7 says that he went ahead and actually negotiated with the king and set the date for the annihilation of the Jews. Because I'm so bored, more than okay, in your moon, so no, I call him one in the quarter. If you acquire the first way, we are we say, Brother Grandpa, we better you that for in us. And besides the setting of the date, Haman had actually promised to pay. 10,000 talents of silver into the royal treasury to facilitate the complete destruction of the Jews. And when you know, a chino, hey man, a bopo, say, obey me to Jessica, Cassia, pa, and you go on, you know, to him, brah, or say you that phone in. But let's listen to how he described the Israelites living in Susa, how he saw them, and how he described them. To the king, verse eight. I share in you more. You are sending out three more. You have four hours. This is an ascending one suit. I want you to pay attention to verse eight. Hey, I said, What's here? You move what you need, Papa. Let us pray that we can also have such kind of description. We are mompy. So, wait me at three, Musa. Then Haman said to King Zesis, There is a certain people dispersed among the peoples in all the provinces of your kingdom 
will keep themselves separate. Their customs are different from those of other people. And they do not obey the king's laws. It is not in the king's best interest to tolerate them. Now, you man catch it on here ourselves. Say, on Mamba, Kubi Wawa, Wabwa Petin, na Wati Wawa, a free, a man of Mengu, na Wahini Asa Sinina, a so, na a son of Wong Mra, and ne a man in our dear. Now, on here, Mrano, wouldn't you so? Now, I'm fatter on here, say, or be my Wong and Qua, and I'll be my Wong crying. They keep themselves separate. What you want who free a man in And their customs are different from all other people. Na womra no a mamre y na esro. Ana yesron ku free a man y na diemu. And then he added that they don't obey the king's laws. Ana all can their sources say or hinemrano won you so you should have said they are not obeying your and it is not in the king's best interest to tolerate them. Now we and says what hine emma hukwain. Now when this news of the fact that they were going to destroy all Israel, got to the ears of Mordecai and eventually to Esther. Let's look at how they decided to fight this battle. And now we have a lot to learn from this. Now verse 15. Then Esther sent this reply, sent this reply to Mordecai. Go gather together all the Jews who are in Susa and fast for them. And fast for me. Do not eat or drink for three nights, three days, night or day. I and my attendants will fast as you do. When this is done, I will go to the king, even though it is against the law. And if I perish, I perish. And now Esther can say, "Won't go buy more the case." Kushia you da fwa, unhu on susa nina buano. Na me enti muni muada. Na muni di na monom na nsa anajo ni eviya menso me ne me mawa ebe di muada sara na me de sa makuo hine encheng ah enam emraso na me ira me ira. Now, so now. They decided to bring their God into the equation. Hey, not just say unyame no watun safrens omra. Yeah, they decided to bring their great God into the battle. Unyango ponke si ano si si watun safrens. When they trusted God, say what one who do unyango ponse. In our day and age, when you talk about prayer, people are looking for something else. But you see, prayer is introducing God in a matter. Rofunum yemre mu ye kan pai bo ane binu mu junju bibifu from pai bo ane sa ome nyame abem ediamau. This is what they have been taught, and this is who they were. Priests unto the nations. We any ni awa church the one na we any di pa kwa woye woye asofo edima ameni na. See, some of the teenagers who found themselves in Babylon will not allow themselves to be reprogrammed by Nebuchadnezzar. Not at all. Now, even in the face of death. They never denied God that the God of Israel. Now, I want us to read verse 15 of Daniel chapter 3. So verse 15, the book of Nazar is saying that I will throw you into this furnace and we will see what God will rescue you from my hands. Mm-hmm. And you see, let's read verse 16. Now, the young men are saying that this matter is settled. Now, it doesn't matter your trade. This matter is settled. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied to him, King Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. Yeah, can we? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. No argument. We don't have to defend. Nebuchadnezzar said, Hey, here, say you're going to be a 
the matter is settled if you are thrown into the blazing fire the god we serve is able to deliver us from it and he will deliver us from your my your majesty's hands but even if he does not you see the matter is settled so the end to say that for you more in your cup on over to me at the end that's one gm boy as i'm not i can be they have been taught from their infants that the lord is one and that he is the greatest of all the gods they will not defy themselves by bowing to any image you see nebuchadnezzar saw them as slaves and some young boys or young people but they saw themselves as a holy people and priests to Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar who on set where you know any man to go out now so one day will want to see when you come on a software and you are my name and book at Nezah account the brothers by their attitude their faithful attitude to the God of Israel they cause the kings such as Nebuchadnezzar and Darius to at a point in time in all their life in their life both uh, the book of Nezah and Darius to fall down and prostrate before the God of Israel. It should decrease that everyone should revere and worship the God of Israel. Serving God in the midst of evil is tough. But Israel did it and we can do it in our generation. Daniel chapter 6 from verse 25. Daniel chapter 6 from verse 25 please. And I said unto him, Daniel 6 25 please. Then King Darius wrote to all the nations, the peoples of every language in all the earth. May you prosper greatly. And the Ohine Dado, Kirakoma, among and Crophone, Casa Huduina, what it is as a swanina say, and Simuye and Moroso. I issue a decree that in every part of my kingdom, people must fear and revere, people must fear and reverence the God of Daniel, for he is the living God and he endures forever. His kingdom will not be destroyed. His dominion will never end. This is a Pesha king lifting the God of Israel up. We are Pesha here. Oh, ma Israel here no so. And as Israel yanko pon so. I say, Meshe emra se ma here. Me di su tumi nina mu. One ferry na one slow down your yanko pon enim. Na ono eni yanko pon a oti asie na ujina hoda na na here di en se da. Amen. Amen. He rescues and he saves. He performs signs and wonders in the heavens and on the earth. He has rescued Daniel from the power of the lions. Hallelujah. Na or yen sent any any our dear or so any as I say so or no and no ye Daniel Jata and Sam brothers and sisters. I don't know. This is the Israelite. We any Israel for but we have a better covenant. That's yeah, you are Pama and yeah, Papa. We don't have a God who lives in Jerusalem. Na ye nyan kupon, ye Jerusalem or two. Our God is in us. In young kupon, or tia kumi. If they do it, we can also do it in our generation. Oh yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, pay so you bet to me a yeah. So that the kingdom of this world will become the kingdom of our God. And my we are seeing here in our abbey nyan kupon a hini. People standing for Christ. Nipa, wo jina edi ama Christo. Mordecai, the old man, stood for Christ. Mordecai, na kuwa bire mukro jina ama Christo. And then there are Bednego's young people also stood for Christ. Bednego emranti wa anonso jina ama Christo. Wherever they went, they carried the ideals. Bi biara wako yi biano okra wanya misumu pinti. Don't leave your light in the house. Take it to the workplace. Me nyao kani enu ofie fako ajume muho. No, take it. To the workplace. Take it to the marketplace. Let your husband know that you have a God who is a great God. Now, I want us to stand and pray that God 
Jesus. Help us to carry the principles and values of your kingdom wherever we go. So that because of me, the peoples will praise you.